Glory to God. Yes, it has season to experience fullness of joy. I went to church yesterday. As soon as I got in, I could hear the Lord say, fullness of joy. And I'm telling you, the service was full of joy. A lot of people had challenges coming to church. A lot of people had difficulties. But guess what? Because they choose to press through the barriers. They made it in the presence of the Lord that is the presence where you get what? Fullness of joy. What are we saying? This is a season of the fullness of joy and we want to be focused. We want to be purposeful. That is why we're exposing this. I want you to hold on to this word and say this is my season where I'm going to experience the fullness of joy in this area, in that area. Lord, what areas do you want me to believe you for? And do what? Believe him in those areas and you will experience fullness of joy looking at this world like we do here at B we have to open it up we have to see it to the fullness the details of it so what we can have that fullness his promises and the first scripture I want us to look at is Psalm 16 verse 11 Psalm 16 verse 11 the New International Version you you make known to me the path of life you will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasure pleasures at your right hand the passion translation says for you will bring me continual revelation of resurrection life the path to blaze that brings me face to face with you now the miss the classic the amplified classic says you will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore i pick the amplified let's stay with the amplified for the scripture today it says you will show me the path of life and in your presence is fullness of joy now do you see the progression you can't sit out there and you don't want to study the world. You don't want to pray. You don't want to hear God. And you expect to do what? Have fullness of joy. Joy is a serious business. But for you to have joy, you need to be able to understand how joy comes. And how you will do what? Increase and grow in joy. Yes, it's the fruit of the spirit. But every fruit matures, right? No matter the fruit, mangoes will mature bananas need to make sure it's only when they are mature that you can really enjoy it so what are we saying you can be at the point where your joy is not tangible it's not visible many people are not seeing you joyful but hey don't give up what do you need to do go to him stay in his presence he said you will show me the path of life and your presence is fullness of joy when you stay in his presence by studying the word praying what will happen is you'll begin to open up things in your life you begin to bring miracles your way and then your joy will be full if there are many scriptures that I said I'm tempted to go to other ones but let's stay with Psalm 16 verse 11 it said at your right hand they are pleasures forevermore is someone following this with me listen the Lord does not want you to live a life where there's no pleasure that's not the mindset of your daddy daddy's mindset for us is to have a life that is full with good things how are you going to be full of joy when your life is not full of good things I understand what you say oh I'm a spiritual person you know when I'm full of the spirit no matter you know Paul said it I have learned how to be um, happy when I have everything when I and I have also learned how to be happy when I don't have much I agree with you but I'm telling you I pick the one where I am contented when I have everything it's a choice even talking to Abraham he said your children will be like the stars uh, as many as the stars right and as many as the sun yes he was talking about the size the many the greatness the largeness of it but who wants to be the sun that everyone trample upon what am i saying as a child of abraham you're walking by faith you can choose to walk by faith and people will still trample on you and one of the ways people will trample upon you even as a child of abraham is when you don't use your faith everything in the kingdom to be and walk in the fullness of joy requires faith what is faith faith is you believing and trusting that what the lord has said about that situation is true 
in this case you believe that this week is the week where you will experience joy fullness of joy you experience fullness of joy what is faith faith is acting upon the word of god now the lord is saying this week is the week where you experience fullness of joy are you going to act on it are you going to be watchful because one one of the things i teach and i always draw attention to is that when the lord says something i want you to also hear what he didn't say you see that he's letting you also know by not saying it that the enemy is going to want to put stupid things your way that's why you want to do what make sure your joy is not just normal joy but it's what the fullness of it so that whatever the enemy will bring your way what will come out of you will be an overflow of that joy because you're full of it amen so stay focused those who are new you want to know how to make your joy overflow go back to this channel there are teachings on this channel that will show you how to grow and increase in joy amen and amen glory to god